It's just unbelievable. Gathered at a home in Livonia, these residents consider their next move after a stunning defeat at Monday night's city council meeting. Council member McIntyre? No. Council member Barr? No. The council voting council five to two Colorado against Colorado. a non-discrimination ordinance that would have updated the city's laws from 1982 to extend and include protections for the LGBTQ community in housing, employment, and public accommodations. Those in violation would have faced a $500 fine. What are you saying when you say, I don't want a non-discrimination ordinance? What you're saying tacitly is, it's okay for people to discriminate. On Monday, the city council heard from one LGBTQ family saying they left Livonia because of it. My wife and I spent many, many hours wondering if we were safe and welcomed in this community. I hear many of you tonight saying that you don't see a Livonia that is discriminatory or unwelcoming. That is not the case for members of the LGBTQ plus community. Historically, Livonia had a reputation as the whitest big city and had been described as a sundown town, one that has discriminated against African Americans in housing and has been accused of targeting people for driving while black. But residents say in recent years, the city has started to diversify and a non-discrimination ordinance would have symbolized a more welcoming community. We're still grappling with that legacy of that racist history. This is just a very base level thing that you do when you really are serious about being an inclusive community. But also um, it outlines a local way for us to deal with discrimination issues. But that was one of the problems with the ordinance for some on the city council. It obligates the city to investigate and prosecute discrimination claims that are already covered by existing and state and federal laws. City Councilwoman Laura Toy telling me there should be zero tolerance for any kind of discrimination, yet she says the ordinance just didn't answer all of her questions, so she voted no. It focused on business, this particular ordinance. Um, who was going to be the one to be the judge and jury on that? And from what I heard, it was going to be internal within the city, which added an extra layer of bureaucracy within the city. Livonia's mayor has promised to find other ways to advance non-discrimination policies, but activists say they're already working to put it to another vote, this time to let the people of Livonia decide. We knew that we would end up needing to place this on a ballot so that it can be a truly democratic process where the people who should have the power get to say if this is something that we want for our community or if it's something that we don't. Close to 60 communities in Michigan already have non-discrimination ordinances. In Livonia, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.